on his conversation shortly. And of course, somebody has made a, a triumphant return to Good Morning Ghana. Um, I hear he's now called the babyface assassin shortly. Let's take a look at the front pages of our newspapers. Daily Graphic, 2000. SMEs to access 145 million Ghana cities from Monday. Tourism, agro-processing, textile companies to benefit. Prof. Adodu heads Africa standardization body. Congratulations, Prof. Customs officials intercept guns at Tema Port. Government pays 937. Ghanaian Times, landmark ruling. Court orders Media Foundation for West Africa to pay 1,500 Ghana cities for information from NCA. President inaugurates food processing factory at Kwasu. Abu Jinapo thanks Ghanaians for a successful Green Ghana Day. Well done, Minister. Gunmen strike in Motikrum, shoot victims, rob gold dealers, and the last man standing has fallen. Zambian ex president Kenneth Kaunda dies at 97. Daily Guide. <clears throat> AG charges Kaswa teenage killers, killers in court. Wife, killer in court, gets 200,000 Ghana cities bail. Green Ghana exceeds target. Weapons busted at Tema Port. The New Weekend Crusading Guide. Turmoil in SDA nursing and midwifery school. Over 50 suspended students. Mandatory refresher training for drivers. Government says measure is to help curb road accidents. I'll transform a shaman in two years. Alexander Nagbeku ice MCE seat. Get Ghana Air Force a new strategic jet, NITIWO. Education Minister inspects TVET projects. <coughs> the insight. Coco Roads, minority accuses government of inflating costs. As residents lament and accuse police, armed robbers strike at Adesu, shoot to a boat with 96,700 Ghana cities. CETEC President meets Council of State Chair as he readies to donate medical equipment worth $120,000 to Drabin Hospital. Rousing welcome awaits Bagu in Ivory Coast. <coughs> the informal. Churning out unwholesome content. Media houses to suffer revocation of licenses. Media owners, publishers, and managers tremble. Prioritize youth development. Speak up <coughs> and use them to enhance democratic governance. Increasing spate of crime. Security dawn diagnosis course. Mentions use of illicit drugs and watching of violent movies as factors. Move to salvage tour. Government forms committee to address pertinent issues. Commentary. Where's the Prosper Bani led NDC COVID 19 committee? The Inquisitor. Storm at Immigration Service. No value for presidential trips. Lord Mensa. Derry visits the Chiman in pursuance of justice for election violence victims. Okay. Maybe pursuit would have sounded better. Involve the youth in governance for inclusive development. Bagbin. Asantini comments ADB. The Herald. Can a Japan fly Skoko board officials? <coughs> Can a Japan fly Skoko board officials to Dubai for his birthday party? Snate engages stakeholders on merger with NIA. Government buying new presidential jet for Emperor in court, Ekufuado. Another bullion van attack recorded. The Daily Statesman, pay for the information. NCA flaws Media Foundation for West Africa and RTI legal battle. First Lady calls for better opportunities for African children. Drivers to undergo mandatory refresher training. President commissions 1D1F factory at Ejisu. The Daily Searchlight, politicians abandon Ghana made masks as billions of cities flow to China and unemployment bedevils Ghana's youth. 1D1F, concrete sign of new economic plan, Ekufuado. Cost of doing business in fishing very high. Ghana Tuna Association. The custodian. Government to give drivers mandatory training to curb road crashes. Ekufuado opens. The Accra Times. Speaker Bagbin whips over a small number of female MPs in parliament. Agaga jabs Ekufuado. Four more for Nana has begun with rise in the fear of crime. A black one need to clash in parliament. La MP, my MP, quizzes minister of a dredging of Beshi Lagoon. Akando chases a Kufado over a regular source of procuring Sputnik V vaccine. Permanent. The Ghanaian publisher. Implement towing levy. Stakeholders urge government. Gender minister calls for protection of children. Government to retrain drivers to reduce road accidents. Buy Ghana forces a new jet. NATO will insist G. Kelt aircraft was hired to ensure safety of president and his crew. 
1D1F, Ekufado Opens Premium Foods Factory. 36 companies granted 435 million Ghana cities import duty exemptions. Daily Post, another bullion van attacked. Okay, bullion van in quotes because uh, a pickup with a padlock at the back. Okay, so another bullion van in quotes attacked on Winnie Bakra Road. I don't know you anywhere. A Foko tells state witness. Ufuriata runs in quote from a Black West question on president's rented aircraft. Returned to school pregnant and engaged. Head, headmistress reveals. Okay, there's something regular about this headline. There's something wrong with it. Something is missing in that headline. Business and Financial Times. Bank of Ghana adds gold purchase to show up foreign resilience. Mahama Yariga. Access Bank holds second edition of Chinese Business Forum to drive investment in key sectors. Ghana to the UN Security Council, Switzerland on the way. And finally, the good old Catholic standard. Embrace tree planting to end desertification. GCBC Secretary General. Pope urges inclusive, sustainable food systems. Days when global decisions were dictated by a small group of countries long gone, says China. Kwao. Give seed money for Catholic TV station. Implementation committee inaugurated. And that's about it. For the front pages, we'll be back shortly. Ghana and in Africa, there is only one place to look to get that luxurious design and decor for your offices and homes. Visit Jamila Home. We give you the climax of luxury wherever you find yourself. Presidential and executive office furniture, living room sets, dining set, stunning mirrors, adorable wallpapers, lovely king and queen size beds, valuable antiques and antique goods, beautiful chandeliers and more. Into the bargain, we provide caring customer service, prompt delivery service, skilled and artistic full house design and decor services, and free decor ideas for your space. Our products and service is unparalleled, boasting of top tier clients all over the globe. Jamila Home, home of first class quality furniture, beautiful chandeliers, and antiques. As a mother and wife, my priority is making sure my family is protected at all times. That is why I never forget to give my angel a flora disposable handkerchief to keep germs and sweat at bay. When Habi is out in the field, I'm rest assured of flora coming in handy anytime he needs it. Even when my daughter Na is out late, I am confident flora disposable handkerchief will be close enough to save the moment. Flora disposable handkerchiefs are my go-to disposable handkerchiefs any day, anytime, and everywhere. Flora disposable handkerchiefs is affordable and handy. Flora, better than cloth handkerchiefs. Flora is a product of Delta Paper Mill Limited. For inquiries and bulk purchases, call 0243-033-033. The average human body mass should have at least 60% water for optimal performance in any physical or mental exercise. We can help you maintain it. Na Natural mineral water. Simply natural.
Nim Se Upe Football Pa. And Nuntin a high says a sponsor Euro 2020. Edia Mauno. Nisa Suntin a Yatiti TV Suse Who? Edia Mauno. A high sense Euro 2020 TV super promo. Kahuen kwajo brand new high sense TV and new board da for pictures ni a clear na color ni a deep sound quality. This one the one it's your high sense TV. So the entry power about down one access you are. I'm gonna gonna put you so beautiful. If it's the 18th June, I come from 11th July. A high sense Euro 2020 TV super promo. I'm a real fisher. High sense kwan. I'm a five years warranty. Hisense Euro 2020 TV Super Promo. I cost to a Hisense showroom, sir. I work on a Hisense, everyday prices for everyday people. Hisense, official sponsor at the Euro 2020. Blood gives life. Blood is very important. Let's donate blood to save lives. On Saturday, June 19th, 2021, Metro TV, Original TV, and Original FM humbly invite you to be part of blood donation exercise at the premises of Metro TV, close to Alisa Hotel on Dr. Isar Street at Northridge in Accra. The exercise will start at 7 o'clock in the morning. It is in commemoration of the World Blood Donation Day. Join us Save Lives as Nova, manufacturers of 3 First Serum, number one builder of blood cells. There's a place for people like you. Thirty two Watts Safe First Charge System with two fine mind certification. Super fluid display. 6.95 inch full HD plus. MediaTek Helio G95 processor. Unbeatable gaming experience. Infinix Note 10 Pro. Faster and smoother. Ghana is a beautiful country. There is so much of it you probably haven't seen, haven't experienced, haven't touched, haven't felt, haven't eaten. When this is all over, let's discover our land again with new eyes. Let's feel each other again. We are one people brought together by destiny. Let's make that count. Let's show love for each other and our environment. Let's tell our stories. And let's watch and listen to our stories. There will be so much to tell. Ghana is a truly beautiful country. Be Ghana. Stay in Ghana. Experience Ghana. Make Ghana great. Data campaign. This channel supports the campaign. Right, welcome back to the show. If you just joined us, this is Good Morning Ghana live on Metro TV, brought to you in kind partnership with X Natural Mineral Water. Well, he left us for a long while by his back today. I hear he been referred to as the baby face assassin, the North Town Ninja. He represents the good people of Norton constituency and is a ranking member on uh, foreign affairs. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. you passed. Yeah, and uh, I am wondering if all of those accolades are for me yes. because I don't have any ninja training. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't own a black belt like like Nana Komiya. So. <laughs> So let's 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 leave the ninja stuff with with Nana. Uh, yeah. Not, not, not ninja, mm. political ninja. 
Uh, so when you are when you are dealing with domestic stuff, you are the baby face assassin. <laughs> when it's about foreign issues, you are the ninja. <laughs> and Dara Kumia is also here, former minister of state, and uh, a holder of a black belt in karate. You don't practice? I do. You do? But you know the thing about um, martial arts. Martial arts is that it never leaves you. Okay. It stays with you forever because okay. um, you do the same routine like a million times training. Mm. And it never leaves you should have been in parliament on the, the on night the of day, the 6th to the yeah. 7th. It but would have been that, very interesting because yeah, you definitely would have been a front bencher. Yeah, but the thing that, <laughs> that, the thing that Masha as training gives you yes. is that it rather makes you calm. Yeah, no, more, you you would have it's you part know, of the you would have dealt with the yeah. situation more calm under pressure under yeah. pressure and more discipline unless it's the last resort yes because you are taught not to use it until it is absolutely necessary mm. yeah. at least your so, blocking skills would have been needed would would have been useful yeah useful but, on but, that but, day. but it's not it, it's not it's not clear <laughs> if if you'll have had the courage to use those skills on Carlos <laughs> because. The, 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 the person who really needed some, some karate <laughs> tackling. <inter> <laughs> tackling was on their side. You know, so uh, I'm not too sure how, how that will have panned out. <laughs> but the problem is, it's good to see um, Okujeto mm. once again. It's great to be back. It's great to you be back. You fled from this uh, program. No, uh, not at all. Uh, not at all. Maybe I was, I was taking a leave from Nana Kumia, who took, who took a long we break we for didn't many know, years. We didn't know what the strategy was. He just left us. <laughs> He said he was going to do um, <laughs> vetting committee duties, you know. Appointment committee. Yeah, appointment yeah. committee. So then he, he fled that one too. Then he fled that one. Too. <laughs> <laughs> now you took, my you goodness, took the that's a good one. <laughs> that's know, a good one. Like, he keeps fleeing. <laughs> <laughs> He fled from this place. He said he sent us a message that vetting committee. They have to meet in the morning. <laughs> And so he left. Something just and came then, to. And we then what you he say, fled that yes, one too. Yes. And even that one too cried some drama. Uh, Instead of just quietly. Fleeing nicely. Wrote to the speaker and got it published. In that was due process. No. Oh, okay. The speaker, you don't represent the speaker. Okay. You represent your party. So you write to your party leadership. No, the if speaker, you want to place you. No, no, the speaker is the, is the, is the chairman of the selection committee. Mm. So the, the speaker has ruled that it was... It was good that I did that, and he's referred the uh, letter to the selection committee, which he chairs. So it's, 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 that, it's did, in order. Did the selection committee select you for the appointment? The nation letter. So there's, there's no qualm about due process at all. Well, I just realized, you know, when you were speaking about a black wife fleeing the shoe and all yeah. that. You know, and fleeing the appointment yes, committee, which I mean, he had used as in, an excuse in, to flee. In six months, mm -hmm. Exactly on the 8th of January, Good Morning Ghana will be 20 years. And you are the only, you are the only regular Friday person here, consistently. And you've had many partners mm -hmm. on the Friday mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, from former President Mahama. Mahama was uh, exciting. Uh, I think Mahama was on the program much, Bef much yes, earlier. Yes, before you yeah. came. We started with him. Yes, you yes. came two years later. Yes, right? yes. So you've done 18 years. Yes, and yes. then um, I think the Friday... After him, you the, had the, Mahama. The, the Fridays, yeah. another time I was working there. Yeah. So I had a Samoa Boatin come. Yes. And him to do... Okay, so no, I'm not, I'm not a guru like you. But, you, know, <laughs> you, are, you are a senior But um, he's doing well. Okay. He's doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. Um, Very humble. This, these Very days... It's toned down a, a bit on the propaganda. <laughs> and once in a while it comes through, this aeroplane matter, you know, half of it coming lean. Mm. You know, I, I can feel it. Like your and, university days. And somebody told me that, ah, MD, oh, Hunama Wopa. MD. Yeah, he said, yeah, he was okay. telling me that my Hunam in tree. Okay. I said, who's a Hunam? If you had not said the MD, I was going to ask you a question. <laughs> so, <coughs> but once you said the MD, then we can appreciate that. So it's like, yeah, your, your body is. Body is good. Randy, if you, if, yes, yes, if, if, if you allow me, I'm yes. sure Nana will also be excited about yes. this. Uh, this week, the 
Honorable Ken yes. invited me to yeah. a book launch. He's uh, oh. released his memoirs, my defining, really? my defining moments, okay. a trip from the village to parliament and beyond. Oh. You know, the first MP for I also was Wagon, then went to South Tong, became mm. second deputy speaker, first deputy speaker, was a colleague to Nanakomi yeah. in parliament. I mean, riveting book, fascinating read. I mean, okay. it's difficult to drop it. So mm. I want to highly recommend. All We've right. all been saying that uh, people should write, people should write mm. particularly those who offer themselves uh, mm. to public service. And, uh, Have you started? I, I hope that Nana Komiya will I'll get a also start, no, start write writing, but we want you to also mm. write. I'll write with you first. Yeah, but it's, it's done waiting for the statue first. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but it's done a good job. How does it compare with Kwame Nahoy's book? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to I would like to commend the right honourable speaker for agreeing right. to chair the launch, right, and then right, uh, right, Doctor Ibn right, Chambers right. who did the foreword. Right. You know, so he's he's got a lot of support. Uh, Doctor Ibn that. Chambers must also write. Yes, he and must. his book, you know the the chapter that I would like to read, the the one that would be on the Abacha five billion. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I I want to read that. that uh, are you are you sure he would write on that particular matter? Oh, in view of the fact that some people have died. Yeah, yeah. It will be yeah, less. Why would he write that, about that? Particular? It will be less. Why would Chambers write about that particular? <laughs> he, he, he was performing some <laughs> diplomatic duties. He was deputy foreign minister at that time. So he was part of it, the transaction. No, no he was deputy foreign minister. He may have come into some information <laughs> as deputy foreign minister. <laughs> Maybe no. You may have come with some information. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting, in interesting front page of the then crusading guide. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was in pro there. pronouncing the innocence of Chambers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then he should write about it. Yeah. He, he had to quickly but clear I think his name. President Rollins himself later alluded to it, didn't he? Uh, he commented. He, he just it. disputed the figure. The figure, yeah. He said it wasn't up to five. Let's move on. No, but no, let's, let's move on. on. <laughs> Ken Johnson didn't write about that in his memoirs. So. He didn't mention it. No, too. so let's. Uh, hey, this town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, yesterday, yeah. we had an anti climax in Parliament. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were here yesterday morning. Everybody, we could back with everybody. She waited for the finance minister. I mean, that was the meat. That was the meat. That was the meat. And. We thought that having the defense minister on Wednesday, yeah. the finance minister on Friday, we'll be sitting here really dealing with mm -hmm. all the issues. Mm -hmm. I could tell that you were extremely disappointed. Very much so, Randy, very mm -hmm. much so. Indeed, I called it a sad day for accountability and good governance. Uh, I must indicate that the honorable minister responsible for finance, the honorable Ken Ophoriata, had ample time. I filed these two questions the same time. So if the defense ministry could put together a response, even a day earlier, that is on Wednesday, <clears throat> what really is the finance ministry waiting for in asking for more time? And <clears throat> the finance ministry had indicated their readiness. You know that when the speaker admitted this question on the 1st of July, the 1st of June, sorry, and communicated same uh, to the clerk, the clerk would then transmit the questions to the respective ministries. The ministries then indicate their readiness and their availability. So the business committee will then program the responses. So last week, Thursday, the business statement was read which indicated that this week the ministers responsible for defense and foreign and, and finance will be responding to their questions defense to respond to the leg relating to the state of the presidential jet the falcon 900 ex and then the finance minister to respond to the entire cost of the trip, how much the presidential travels to France, Belgium, and South Africa cost the taxpayer. So it was in the business statement, duly advertised. I have the provisional order paper for Thursday, 17 June here. 
and it was again advertised. You know that our standing orders stipulate that the business for the ensuing day should always be advertised. So if you take the order paper <coughs> for every sitting day of parliamentary work, the business for the next day is advertised, what is, what, what is called or known as the provisional order paper. And if you look at the provisional order paper, which I have here at page 21, and uh, item number five, urgent questions. You have two urgent questions slated for Thursday, 17 June 2021. The first one, standing in the name of the Honorable Harun Idrisu to as a Minister for Finance, the total amount of temporary advances from the Bank of Ghana to the Government of Ghana for the 2020 financial year. And then the second question, standing in my name, to ask the Minister for Finance how much the President's recent official travels to France, Belgium, and South Africa in May this year cost the Ghanaian taxpayer. Mm -hmm. So, urgent questions duly advertised in the provisional order paper. We arrive in Parliament on Friday, <coughs> sorry, on Thursday, 17 June. Uh, today is Friday. And then I take the order paper for uh, the day's work. And I notice that only one urgent question has been programmed. My urgent question has disappeared or vanished from the other paper for yesterday. Oh. So, yeah, so you can see, it. see it's, not, it's not listed. So <clears throat> what you do in that uh, situation is you reach out to the table office. Um, so I reached out to the table office, uh, the clerk at table, uh, Mr. Jetro uh, then informed me that the finance minister had uh, come to parliament earlier uh, to ask that the question uh, be rescheduled and that he will need more time. And so they will uh, appeal to me to uh, accept that and wait for uh, the finance minister to be rescheduled. So as it is now, we do not have a date on when the finance minister will respond to the question. I did raise the matter on the floor of the house, though, so that the records will reflect. So when it got to question time, um, <clears throat> I had discussed with leadership and uh, the Honorable Harun Idrisu advised that we must go on record. Uh, so when it gets to question time, before any of the questions are asked, I should then rise and draw Mr. Speaker's attention that something strange has happened. The uh, business, as advertised in the provisional order paper, has uh, been amended, and that my question does not appear in today's order paper. So I rose and raised the matter. <clears throat> the Honorable Second Deputy Speaker was in the chair, and so he said, yes, uh, your question Clearly, it's not before us today. Uh, what he has been told by the clerk at table is that um, the finance minister has requested more time. And so they will appeal to me to, um, to hold my horses and uh, wait for the finance minister to be rescheduled. So yes, I agree that uh, it was quite an anticlimax. We were all looking forward uh, to the finance minister to respond to uh, the question of cost. And Honestly, it beats my imagination uh, why for more than two weeks. This, the question was transmitted to the Finance Ministry on the 1st of June, uh, yesterday, 17th. It's been more than two weeks. Um, and this is expenditure that has already been paid for. The uh, charter of the ACJ 320neo <coughs> has been paid for. Uh, I've been engaging with Acropolis Aviation in Fambro, uh, UK, and they tell me that it's all cash and carry. Um, if you don't make payments, you cannot have access to their aircraft. So we've paid already. So why, what do you need more time for? What, 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 I don't get it. You know, if it's about per DMs, if it's about hotel bills, um, we are also told that there's, there's a delegation that traveled commercial. <clears throat> it is even now emerging that it will appear that the, the Falcon 
also arrived in Europe at that time, carrying some other people. All of these matters <coughs> have already taken place. As far back as May, <coughs> the 16th to the 25th of May this year. Today is what, the 18th of June? You are asking for more time. I, I'm, I'm wondering, and, and we are not told how long that more time is. So, really, really In a situation uh, like really this, disappointing. In a situation like mm. this, where it appears that the request for more time has been granted, how much more time you do not know. For you, the MP who asked the question, what are the avenues left for you? How do you pursue this? What I can do and is does, that... And does Parliament just grant um, grant uh, uh, such extension of time without a, a fixed you know, time? Like, shouldn't it be, say, we're giving you two more weeks, one more week, mm -hmm. four more weeks? Mm -hmm. You see, it's because the minister is not available. The minister had been scheduled, but probably uh, circumstances out of the minister's control. So the minister cannot be in Accra or cannot be in parliament. Either maybe something has happened. Ministers, you can always have some crisis situation or some emergency meeting, or you, or you travel abroad. So a specific request is made and you are programmed because you are not available. But in this case, the Honorable Minister for Finance was in Parliament yesterday, spent over two hours with us, responding to other questions. As I've told you, uh, the Honorable Harun Idrisu had one urgent question. Uh, the Honorable Al Hassan Suhini. Suhini had two questions for the Minister for Finance. One about the payment to independent power producing companies, the other on the uh, uh, the Mackenzie contract, mm -hmm. uh, the nature of the contract, and why it was uh, uh, it, 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 it was uh, mutually agreed to be suspended in June 2018. The Honorable Finance Minister was in Parliament, availed himself for almost two hours responding to these questions and follow-up questions. So it's not about non-availability or he's out of town. He was around, and 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 that's what even makes it more curious. Now. The only avenue available to me is that on Fridays, I can always rise after the business statement has been presented. If it is not scheduled for the ensuing week, I can rise and ask Mr. Speaker why it has still not been scheduled. It will appear that under standing orders, that is the only avenue available to me. Because the question has been admitted. It's not as though it's been. If it, it has been rejected, then you can probably uh, refile or uh, go back and ask what really the challenge is. Is it that there were probably some errors or the speaker has, you are stopped. Uh, it doesn't probably meet <coughs> the provisions under the standard order, so you cannot ask that question. In this instance, it's been admitted it was scheduled. It's just that we've been told, wait a while. Uh, the minister needs more time. So, but must Parliament not be more specific in granting such requests? Yeah. I mean, because yeah. on the face of it, it sounds as if uh, more time mm -hmm. is not defined. My, my, honest view, my honest view is that even the request for more time should not have been granted. I do not know to what extent they engaged the Speaker on this. I hope that this was not done just at the table office because my leadership was also taken by surprise because when I called Mr. Jetro and he told me that um, this is a situation, the finance minister is asking for more time, I immediately um, uh, we were at a caucus meeting yesterday so I informed the Honorable Harun Idrisu. Mm -hmm. uh, he even later passed by the office because we are working on a statement so he passed by my office we had a discussion uh, on this matter and he he was taken by surprise, uh, and, and that's why, if you watch the proceedings yesterday, he did raise concern about it on the floor, except that he urged me to um, just uh, 
um, hold, hold, hold horses for now and, and see uh, just how much time the finance minister needs. But to build a strong parliament, I'm not too sure that this is a practice that we should encourage. And I do not also believe that other ministers uh, have uh, these, 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 these liberties, at least to this extent, looking at the circumstances. You see, it's, it's different if you are not available, if you are incapacitated, or there are circumstances beyond your control that does not allow you to, um, to be in the house. But where you are around, you are available, you are in parliament, you are responding to other questions. And then you are given the liberty uh, to come back uh, at your behest. Uh, it's, it's not really the best. We've been talking about <coughs> building a strong parliament. Well, there's something interesting um, here. Abdul Malik Kukubaku sent me a text and he says that the question mm -hmm. to the finance minister was officially communicated to him on the 14th of June and not the 1st of June. So maybe that is what informed the request for more time. Is that 14th of June? 14th of that June. That was when it was officially communicated to the Minister of Finance. Officially communicated to the Minister of Finance by who? His, ofi his officials at the ministry? Or it suggests that parliament. That's, that's not what the clerk uh, table is telling me. Mm. Uh, and, and I filed those two questions at the same time. So how come the defense minister mm -hmm. had his much, much earlier and prepared, and you saw the detailed response. Many analysts have said that the defense minister should not even have strayed into all of those arenas that he strayed. But he had ample time to prepare <coughs> about eight pages of, uh, of response to my simple question on the state of this. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that I know that for a fact. Because you see, uh, you, are why, to, you, why? You, are, you are to appear on the, on, the, on the 17th. Let me just ask you this. You see, the what do you call that? Is it the other paper? Yes. The one that talks about the business for the... Yes, there's the other paper. Yes, so I see the other paper for the... Is it 7th or 8th of June? Mm -hmm. Where they do the pillar Jirapat, who has a minister for education, mm -hmm. one of over 10,000 people who do not have desk in the municipality, we provided desk. Mr. Eddie Kofi Adams, who has the minister of food and culture, when Cocoa Board will release outstanding funds to license buying companies. Mm -hmm. Mr. Samuel Kuja, to a black one, not turned to, as a minister for defense, whether the presidential jet is in good condition and considered airworthy. Mr. Samuel Okuja to Ablakwa to ask the Minister for Finance mm -hmm. how much the President's recent official travels to France, Belgium, and South Africa in May this year cost the Ghanaian taxpayer. Mm -hmm. And this was on the 8th of June. Yeah. Is it to yeah. suggest that although Parliament had put this on the other paper mm -hmm. for... That, that was on the... That's the agenda you are yes, reading. That's the agenda. the agenda for this meeting. So although Parliament had put this on the agenda... He had not informed the that, minister. That, that, that would be strange. That would be strange because the practice is that you inform the minister. No, no, I'm, I'm glad that Honorable Nana Komiya is here. Um, you inform the, the minister. You, 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 you have indication from them on their availability before you program. So by the time you program, the clerks at table will have done the transmission of, mm. of the questions before it then goes to the business committee for them to program the question. So, well, something it's, it's, so it's, it's, appears, it's really strange. If, if this Baku information has cited, Baku is it appears that he has cited the letter because mm. he says that Mr. Jetro yeah. wrote and signed the communication to the finance minister, and the letter was dated the 14th of June. So it means that if this yeah, is it, correct, it is correct the agenda mm -hmm. was set mm -hmm. and communicated to mm -hmm. Parliament yeah. before. The letter was written to the minister. So the minister was written to on the 14th to appear before parliament on the 16th. On the 17th. On the 17th. When the agenda had been communicated to parliament on the 8th of June. Eight, yes. Re really strange. Wow. Really strange. And, and uh, I mean, who, 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 was, who, was, who was sleeping on the job? Uh, and which, which office really is responsible for, 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 for sitting on the question all this while, well, if that is what happened? Uh, uh, really, so it's 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 really strange. But I hope that uh, the business statement for next week will be presented today, and I hope to see the question being uh, rescheduled for next week. Mm -hmm. I hope that uh, at least between the 14th, if it is true that the finance minister got it on the 14th, between now and next week should be ample time. But look, this matter has been brewing 
it's been about a month since uh, I made these disclosures. And uh, I mean, there are times that when you make these disclosures and they are of enormous public interest, ministers don't even wait for question time. They come to the floor and make a statement to address the issues, or they can even issue a press statement to respond to them. So this is not as though I was bringing a surprise uh, this week on the finance minister. These are matters that are known. There's been so much anticipation, you know, uh, in, in the country. Everybody has been expecting the minister to respond to this and to say that you need more time. Still strange to me. We'll be back shortly. life. Blood is very important. Let's donate blood to save lives. On Saturday, June 19, 2021, Metro TV, Original TV, and Original FM, humbly invite you to be part of blood donation exercise at the premises of Metro TV, close to Alisa Hotel on Dr. Isert Street at Northridge in Accra. The exercise will start at 7 o'clock in the morning. It is in commemoration of the World Blood Donation Day. Join us save lives as we donate blood for the blood bank. This exercise is in partnership with Blue Skies for money. For people like you. Six point ninety five is full HD plus. MediaTek Helio G95 processor, unbeatable gaming experience. Infinix Note 10 Pro, faster and smoother. Right. Um, I've just been informed by the producer that you had a press conference yesterday. But I guess that, I mean, we've dealt with the issue, so we don't need to play play it back. Uh, Nana? Mm. Uh, the response. Mm. It is clearly not even in the interest of government to let these things hang in. Because as we speak, the information available to, to the public that the finance minister or the government is shielding the finance minister. Fact, some of the newspapers have carried headlines that suggest that he ran away. Okay. Mm. Or, or he's shielded, yes. he's allowed to, to, to get away with not right. answering. But in this particular parliament, you have a speaker um, who you would not say is on the side of government. So if the finance minister has been allowed, there may be good reason. Because if there is no good reason, 
I cannot imagine Speaker Bagby uh, condoning the situation where the, the, the question is not answered yesterday. Because the Speaker has all the powers. The Speaker can give a deadline. The Speaker can give a date that you must appear before Parliament to answer this question. And if you don't, the possible sanctions would follow. And Speaker Bagbin is not, um, maybe he's a friend to the president, but you would not consider him to be an, uh, a, a government. In any case, he's already choice. admitted a question. Yeah. In any case. The question. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure because of this fact, the, the fact that um, Bagbin, there may be some good reason. Could it be um, that the thing was officially communicated to the minister on the 14th? I, I don't know. But I'm saying that if it was an NPP, in quote, speaker, mm -hmm. you could say, ah, they are making an attempt to cover up. But it's not. So I am prepared to believe that there may be good reasons and that the finance minister will be coming to the house to, to provide this, the government side of the, of the story. Because like I said, is in the interest of government itself that their side of the story is put out. And there have been various uh, issues about this uh, presidential jet. Uh, but I'd like to hold on until the finance minister comes and, and gives the information. That, I, that, that has to do with the issue of cost and all that. But at least we've had a defense minister. Yeah. Nokuja to ask two questions. Yeah. One had to do with the... the airworthiness, so to speak, mm -hmm. of the, the yeah. Falcon. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that, yes, it is. But he's giving reasons why the president has had to chatter. So one yeah. of them has to do with uh, capacity yeah. in terms of number of people that he can take. The other has to do with uh, uh, long-haul travels mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so those are the reasons. Yeah. That there's, I mean, there, there, there's no... Um, debate about those reasons. Uh, there was massive political warfare and the government at that time of President Rawlings said that the presidential jet at the time was a flying coffin. And the term flying coffin <laughs> became a part of our political uh, um, dictionary. So from Fokka 28 in General Champon's time and President Slater, it was used against President Rawlings because he was also going for a, a, presidential, a new presidential jet. And he also sought to justify it by saying, look, what he was using is not airworthy. It was, and they described it as a flying coffin. And you know, that was the time then they, they had to go and buy a new jet and they went to offshore and, and for many of us, that was the first time we heard about offshore special purpose vehicle, you know, all of that to buy. It was the Gulf Stream or something? Yeah, the Gulf Stream. And so when the government changed, yeah, fortunately, it took on the tarmac for a couple of years and eventually was sold. Then President Kufo himself also came under severe attack in 2007, 2008, because he was also going to buy a presidential jet and he thought that two were needed a smaller one for short distance travels and a bigger one for uh, uh, longer Long distance home. travels it was a major issue in two and we're using the heavily in the elections of 2008 because the NPP lost the elections NDC came and they, they said, because of the furore, they couldn't condone the two jets. So they canceled one and opted for the smaller one, which is now the, the presidential jet. And now the current fight is that the president had not used it on the trip. So as so well as today, I'm amused. I'm amused because there's a history of these presidential wars. <laughs> you know, it comes and goes. It's part of our history. And I don't know when but it is. The only to difference is that this time round, we are not fighting over the quest to buy a new jet. Mm -hmm. But we are fighting over the hiring of a. Of a, of of, a of, yeah. Of but it's, all about, jet, it's yeah. all about presidential travel. Mm -hmm. So it's all about cost, is what I'm saying. So 
the cost of presidential travel using aircraft has been part of our political fight since 1979. It's continuing. Even the buying of a new jet. So this is the current one. This is the Falcon. This is the interior of the Falcon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So th this is the 11 seater or something. Yes. Now, even the in the current one, if the government takes the definite decision, uh, is been proposed by the Air Force and yes. all of that. But if the government takes the definite decision that is going to buy a larger jet, ah, it will become a major. Uh, uh, political warfare. There's no doubt about it. So, depends on what the situation is. I am looking forward to, because what we are talking about is about cost and propriety. Maybe the cost is not as uh, Samuel Kujeto and his colleagues have put out. We don't know. The finance minister must come uh, and deal with it. Uh, the main issue is not about the size or the airworthiness of the current jet. The main issue is about uh, the propriety of not using it and chattering a private jet. When I, when I listen to Okuja too and um, his colleagues speak mm -hmm. to the issue, I hear them raise an issue of, look, we have been dealing with this company for a while, but they have other options. Why did you go for this particular one, which is the most luxurious? And when you see the optics in terms of that jet, I mean, the, the choice of that is as against others, which appears to have been used by the president, is also part of a question that is being asked. Yes, mm -hmm. but it, it's all got to do, it, it is all going to turn on the cost. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you are labeling it luxurious because you imagine that it will be more costly mm -hmm. than a, an alternative. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is going to turn on the cost. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's important that the finance minister comes to tell us the cost and then we can situate the... the but Sami... Yeah. Did President Mahama ever use a private jet? It is uh, between 2016 and 20, sorry, 2013 and 2016. To like your knowledge. Rent a private jet? Yes, okay. to your knowledge. Once, to my knowledge, once, yes. The, then the Falcon was in France for servicing. It was a Dassault for, for servicing. So, so he used a private he jet? He used a private jet once, okay. yes. Um, so and, and let me also indicate that, as you have rightly pointed out, President Akufuado has used many private jets, um, but he's never gone to this level, and that's why I've taken issue with this. Mm -hmm. Indeed, the last uh, private jet charter he, he used was the, the Dassault APWG, which is m fairly modest, mm -hmm. I mean, quite comfortable, um, uh, slightly more luxurious than the Falcon, but we didn't take issue. It, you know, I've been tracking this for, mm -hmm. as ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee <coughs> for, for many years. <coughs> we didn't take issue. It is this particular, I mean, this is the epoch. I mean, you, you can't get, Sammy, one, in one, terms of one, business one jet, you Sammy, can't one, get anyone more expensive you, you see, than uh, the I ACJ one, 3, one 320 second. Neo. Yeah, you see, well, as we go along, the mm -hmm. issues will be clarified. Because yeah. Sami has offered a major mm -hmm. clarification mm -hmm. that it is not because the president didn't use the <coughs> what was the, the Falcon. The Falcon. No, I haven't. But I haven't, no, no, one I haven't said no, one second. In but President Mohammed's case, the Falcon was not available. No, no, they sent for servicing. Yeah. That's why my first question was, is the presidential jet available? Is it airworthy? Yeah. In President Kufwado's case, it is available. It, available. it could have been used. No, no. So I'm, I'm saying that mm -hmm. I'm getting some clarification yeah. now, and mm -hmm. I'm sure many people will be getting that clarification, mm -hmm. that the worry is not because he used a private jet per se but the worry is the type mm -hmm. and the possible cost mm -hmm. uh -huh. because what has played out in the public is that he shouldn't have used a private jet and so by opting to use the private jets he was not 
been prudent. But now you are saying to me that that's, that, that, that's the position. Yeah. So now you are. But I'm saying what is playing out in the public. Yes, which is important. So so what? So the issue now is the type of jets. That is, is, it that, no, is that no, the issue? No, that's not the issue. And, and the, no, no, the, the issue, if that was just the issue, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have asked the defense minister this. Mm -hmm. The issue still remains that the presidential jet was available for use on the 16th of May for okay. use. Mm -hmm. So it's a major issue. Mm -hmm. Let's not sweep that under the carpet. It's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. It's still germane. Why, why did the president charter yes. a private jet yes. when the when presidential the jet, jet was in use? Was in use. Used. Okay. Serviceable but, but, in pristine yeah. condition and but could you have been see, used. You have mentioned to us that President mm -hmm. Mahama once used the private jet. Yes. And you are and waited for the jet to come back instead of committing more money to. So, anyway, <laughs> I want the finance minister to come quickly. That we don't know. <laughs> That's why it's important that the cost comes out in the public and then we can, we can look at it. But, like I said, this presidential, the wars of a presidential jet, <laughs> since I became um, a, a little bit aware of politics, um, it comes all the time. I'm happy about it, um, only if only for the sole purpose that it will talk about prudence in the use yeah, of but public. Let me ask you a question. You know, with the knowledge of all these presidential jet wars, with the knowledge of it. Mm. And also with the knowledge that in today's it's 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 as transparent as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shouldn't the president have been more mindful, if for nothing at all, of the optics in opting for a particular jet for travel? Randy, if I am I'm a politician, Sammy Sapiens again. <coughs> Thank you, Randy. I would like to take this opportunity to respond briefly to two criticisms that have been leveled against me since uh, I put out this information. The first is that I and that I should just have filed the parliamentary question quietly and just kept quiet, wait for a response before if I want to challenge that with the information I have, then I can do that. So I'm very experienced. And he's, he told me that, look, you've done nothing wrong. Intent has always been with parliament that you can even advertise that you are going to file a question. You are going to file a motion. We do that always before you file, before you table your motion. It is allowed. And when you, you do it, you can still comment. You can still talk about it. There is nothing in outstanding orders that stops me from doing what I've done. The second criticism is that... Why, before, before, why, we move on to the second, you, yeah. before we move on to the second, I recall that in the previous parliament, yes. under Speaker Michael Quinn, yeah. uh, Professor Michael Quinn, yeah. there were questions that were not admitted mm -hmm. because the people who had filed those questions yeah. had run public commentary. Good. I'm glad, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you raised that. And I was one of the victims of that. Okay. We actually held a press conference and took Professor Okwe on. That is wrong. We challenged him to provide a provision in the Sunny orders that allows him to do that. And we even accused him of inconsistency that our colleagues on the other side they do the same, they advertise, they hold press conferences, they indicate we are going to file, even when they file, even when there is debate. Sometimes the debate is on. They will call the press call out, address the press call, whilst motions are alive, matters have not been exhausted, and all of it. It's been part of parliamentary processes. So we criticize Professor Okwe. And I am surprised that, I mean, people in the media, who should not be supporting this attempt to gag, this attempt at censorship, uh, on this course. I mean, that, that would def the whole business of parliamentary democracy is for transparency, is for as much sunshine, as much as possible. Yeah. I don't think you should take this one seriously. I mean, 
No, no, but Listen, no, no, you, it's you important. You found no, the question. So some people have been The carried. media ask you about it. Yeah. And then you're going to say, well, I'm not going to talk. Because yeah. I found No, but it. people are on and on. Oh. And they are subjecting me to a lot of assault, you know. Assault? Verbal, verbal assault. <laughs> verbal assault. <laughs> Calling me names. No, no. <laughs> you know, it's important we address this issue. In, in, in August 2016, the MPP MPs filed a motion in Parliament. We were actually on recess. They obtained the number of hasn't been concluded. You haven't got your response yet. You cannot comment. You can't hold press conferences. The second criticism is that why am I using indicative pricing? Why did I go on the internet? That is. Well, I is, mean, what else could you have used? What What else could I have used? Yeah. What else could I have used? Look, this same press conference that the Honorable Nana Komi addressed to make their point that mm -hmm. President Mills, the President Mills government. Uh, must have probably inflated the cost. Mm. Let me quote from this press statement. It says, Nana Komiya said, the government's claim that it was buying the Embraer 190 at a basic price of 55 million million two hundred. The Embraer 190's basic price is overpriced and inflated. He stated that information available on internet sites, mm. on internet sites, which had not been contested by the manufacturers, put the basic price of the Embraer 190 at 32 million dollars and $40 million for the top model. Mm -hmm. It's been part of our practice. It's allowed. All of a sudden, I mean, I should be hung because I'm using indicative pricing. And I even went ahead, beyond what had been advertised, to en engage with Acropolis Aviation. And you can do that if you are interested. They have on their website a form which says, request a quote. Mm -hmm. So I communicated with them, and I asked them that if we are to charter this jet from Fambro to Accra to pick up, and then you ferry to France, Belgium, South Africa, how much will it cost? I did all that work as part of my due diligence, which has been part of parliamentary practice. Donabu Nana Komiya did it. I have another one here, J.H. Mensa, on the uh, Gulf Stream. He wrote to HSBC and they gave him indicative pricing because you are not going to get what uh, the government has prices. negotiated with yes. unless you use the payment pool, you file your question and all of that. But, that, that you, but, that but you get from the finance minister. Exactly. Yeah. For you to have an idea whether, you know, uh, what has happened, you are getting value for money or it's, uh, it's extravagant or it's ostentatious, you must at least do some basic checks, some preliminary work which is what we have done, and has always been part of parliamentary practice. So where from all this attack that uh, uh, I'm being irresponsible and all of that, it's always been part of the parliamentary work. Now let me come to the matter before us. It is a simple issue. Ghana has a presidential jet, and that is why, first of all, it was important to establish that the presidential jet is in pristine condition, that there is nothing wrong with it. I think that initially when we broke the story, the response we got from some, and I think Donabu Nana Komiyatu may have been briefed in that, because I, I read something, DH-125 jet, which was bought in 1962 by President Nkrumah. And the interesting thing about that jet is that President Krumer preferred to use a German female pilot, uh, Hannah Reich, uh, quite uh, famous in, uh, in the Air Force circles. Uh, she's a staff of legend. Um, it is even said that she was once Adolf Hitler's pilot and all of that. Very sharp, you know, female pilot. Very, very good in, this, in the air. Um, Strip GIII, bought in 1998. And then the Falcon. 900 EX. EX is substance for extra range. It's our fourth presidential jet. Well, President Kufado went to New York with yes, the Falcon. with the Falcon. And, and, and I have been privileged to fly on it uh, to the U.S. as well for U.N. Uh, General Assembly meeting uh, details. Flight, uh, it is a 6.1 feet high, 7.7 .7 feet wide, 39 feet long, not including the cockpit and has a total volume of 1,264 cubic feet. 
standard seating is between 12 to 13 passengers in a double club configuration plus a three-person divan with a mid-cabin four-place conference grouping. So in Parliament, I contested this business of 11. It is actually 15, that's what we were told. No, but I think uh, we configured ours to seat 12. We reconfigured? No, we configured ours to seat 12. Then there's supposed to be that, uh, that thing at the back that looks like a sofa. Okay, uh -huh. the divan. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, divan, yeah. okay. Now, the full-size galley is configured with equipment for hot... This is minus the cabin. This is minus, minus the crew. Minus cabin. the crew, yes. 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 yes, so you'll still be coming to, yes. to, to 15. Yeah. You know, so this business of the, the president wanted a bigger... You want bigger and you go for 17. They, because the uh, ACJ 320 Neo, when you use it for night flight, mm -hmm. they don't allow you to take more than 17. Mm -hmm. And I have seen the manifest. We didn't have I mean, more. Maybe than, you, we didn't have more than seventeen. Maybe people using on, on both. That flight. Maybe using both gives us seventeen plus and, twelve. And they have not said they use both. It is from other sources. <laughs> so, so, Randy, I know you. I know, I know you have great sources. But at least, let's see what because why probably government is tight lip on that uh, for obvious reasons. The extra cost. Double luxury. And then yeah, <laughs> no, double luxury. It, now, it says that the, now the presidential jet is now become a, mm -hmm. a, a, a jet for uh, mm -hmm. staffers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, still on the Dassault Falcon 900EX, the full size galley is configured with equipment for hot meal preparation, including a high temperature oven, microwave, and coffee maker. The aft baggage compartment, which holds 127 cubic feet of baggage, is pressurized and air conditioned and can be assessed in flight. Sound levels within the cabin are very low, and temperature distribution is even throughout all parts of the cabin. Mm. The Falcon 900 EX can take off in 5,213 feet at sea level, or at 7,214 feet at an altitude of 5,000 feet, and a temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Due in part to its three, not two, Honeywell TFE 70160 <laughs> engines. So it's an impressive private jet with ranges of over 4,000 miles. With ranges, sorry, with ranges of over 5,000 miles. Mm. An incredibly comfortable cabin, an innovative three so engine we configuration. See, we, we just showed the, the cabin. For overwater safety and fighter jet design strength, mm. it is ideal for transoceanic. And yes. transcontinental trips yes. and offers great versatility in flight planning. Yes. This is what is said about the Falcon, the presidential jet we have. Yes. So those who are saying that, oh, you know, the Falcon is just for short distance, if the president is going to Togo or Burkina Faso, he can use it. It's not supported by the, by the evidence, by the facts. No, but the president used the yes. same aircraft yes. to travel to, to New York. To New York, so, to New York. Yeah. Been, president Mahama has used it to France. Before, I, I saw pictures yesterday emerge on the social media. Well, of the New, president. Is, New York is further than Yes, yeah, New so York is further. To New York, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm saying France because that's where the we because president to. Akufado went to France. So I guess the argument, the argument mm -hmm. um, for this particular trip, one mm -hmm. of the arguments is that the flight from France to South, to Africa, South Africa yes, would I'm have required a stop. a stop. So then I ask the question, is the one stop mm -hmm. the reason why... Yeah we would mm -hmm. incur the cost this, because this cost. when you make that argument then you perhaps are getting into the yeah. into the realm of uh, it, be, 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 because look foolishness look the, the the even related to the stop you heard the defense minister also talk about covid in in going to south africa you just come back to you do no, but you do paris to accra but, Sammy, stop the over, issue from where, where configured yeah. to even have social distancing yes those of us who travel commercial, you no, know, no, I thought that that COVID, you know, defense, you know, was was totally needless. In and in any case, okay, so that's 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 it. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. a, that's a, that's a, I mean, this is what we have. That's, that's a very comfortable aircraft. You no, now you've flown in it. Like zero. You've flown on it. No, this is the this is the existing jet. Yes. yes. No, I've never flown. On yeah. It. So so Randy, the point must be made that when it's time for refueling, you are giving options. Do you want to stay on board or you want to disembark? You can stay on board, even if it is the case that 
uh, you are not sure about COVID in the country where you have gone to. Mm. So let's just cut it. All of these, you know, justifications, including the need for the president to shower and freshen up for his meetings. What was the question that elicited that response? So, because so, it wasn't yeah. part of yes the, it, statement. It, the yes. statement. Yes. So, so it was, it was my follow-up question, which was which was we don't travel on presidential yeah. jets. <laughs> you know, so so American journalists don't travel on mm -hmm. Air Force One. Yeah. So my follow-up question was that why did you? then go for this, just a 17-seater. What's the difference between 17 and, and, and 15, including crew? You know, if you take crew out, say, 11, 12, I mean, what's the difference? Then, he's, then he had to stray into other areas that, look, it's not only about the capacity, mm -hmm. but also the presence. The facilities on board. The facilities, mm -hmm. the convenience. The president can, and he says, no president can take a shower on the Falcon. You, okay. can, you can have a shower on the or Falcon. Freshen or freshen up. Mm -hmm. and that uh, you can go straight into meetings mm -hmm. after you showered in the skies mm -hmm. and, um, and you arrive at your destination. Mm -hmm. and I thought, so, so in my follow-up to that, I reminded him that, is he, is, is he aware mm -hmm. that on Emirates, for example, Emirates first class, yes. you can have a shower, if it's all about shower. If because of shower in the skies, maybe, we maybe, should spend fifteen thousand pounds an hour. Maybe for the next one, over we, maybe for the next one, we should Genesis. look at one that also has a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I've we? seen, I've seen others say swimming pool. No, maybe a even. treadmill so that you can have a quick thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at how special the Falcon is, I'm sure you can fit in. Yeah, a treadmill. A treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so 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 honestly, a lot of the justifications that have come, honestly, I mean, capacity has been demolished. Uh, uh, long range uh, flying has been demolished. Um, the, it's, it's also been established that the Falcon was in great condition. So there can be only one plausible reason, which is just cost. Comfort. Comfort. Cost. No, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just comfort. Okay. Because as for, as for cost, don't go there. Because 15,000 pounds an hour, over 122,000. And I, I've told you that I have tracked, though this president really likes expensive travel and in, in the when we assess his 2019 travels january to september he spent 62.5 million ghana cities and the ranking member at the time the honorable atu uh, took the president on 19 december 2019 i have the hands out here at column 225 it was a, an issue of major major concern in parliament uh, the the honorable atu speaking said and i quote mr speaker Apart from that, if we are to look at the breakdown, operational enhancement expenses alone, at the nine months alone, is 62.5 million Ghana cities. I strongly believe that this is simply too much. Mm. Alexa Afrojo Makinja got on the point of order trying to you know, do damage control. This was when Parliament was approving the 2020 budget, and we had asked for a breakdown of how they expended the allocation in 2019 mm. and they told us that the office of so this is, the, this is the one that we, we, yes. we hired so yeah. this is a president who already is spending so much on expensive travels but with our tracking he had been going for fairly moderate you know uh, private jets you know within the boeing business jet category but this time and you see if you read up on the the acj 320 new you know how many months they spent on just the luxury fittings, mm. 13 months mm. in Switzerland. The aircraft was manufactured, completed in France. But just to give it this, you see, they wanted to knock out the Boeing business jet from the market, because mm. that was the popular one, mm. and the most luxurious at the, uh, at the time, before this was. So they, they took it to Switzerland and spent 13 months, the world's most sought after designers, yes. you know, and gave it the, the most outstanding sprucing up. Indeed, according to Airbus, they say that this is the world's most outstanding luxurious jet. They call it the pin ever seen such, um, such, such luxury. Mm. Gold-plated, master bedroom, uh, showers, mm. you know, for two people in the skies and all of that. You know, <laughs> it's, 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 you don't need that. You, do, you, don't, you see, I don't mind if you are some uh, Zuckerberg or Abramovich, you have your own, you are your own billionaire. But if you are sitting on the taxpayers' money.
and they talk about everything, breakfast. What is mommy like at home? Tell the truth. She likes cereal sometimes in the afternoon. When are you supposed to eat cereal? In the morning. <laughs> banking, and more. What kind of questions do they ask? How long will this bank account last? Showing every Sunday evening, prime time, 5 to 5.30 p.m. with a catch-up on Wednesdays, 4 to 4.30 p.m. Kids always say what they want. Metro TV, insightful and inspiring moments. In these last days, well, that day will never come, will not come, unless the falling away comes Number first. one, the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed. And Something extraordinary is eventuating. After the man of sin is revealed, that's when the day of the Lord will come. My first supplementary question is grounded in the parliamentary hazard of 19th March 2008 when this presidential and I read from column 2122 the Honorable Ni Edu Mante speaking Defense and Interior this is what the Honorable Ni Edu Mante says in the fourth paragraph at column 2122, reading from the Joint Committee's report. He, he, he states, and I quote, with your permission, Mr. Speaker, the Falcon 900EX easy support aircraft would be able to carry 10 to 15 passengers, 10 to 15 passengers, not the 11 the Defense Minister has told us today, 10 to 15 passengers and cover over 4,000 nautical miles. That is Asia, North America, and Eastern Europe. Asia, North America, and Eastern Europe. The Defense Minister also informed the committee that the delivery period of the new aircraft will be within the retiring deadline period of the three existing aircraft, that is 2010. The technical team from the Ministry of Defense further indicated that the aircraft has a lifespan of at least 20 years, unquote. So, Mr. Speaker, this House approved this presidential jet with the understanding that it can fly 4,000 nautical miles to Asia, North America, and Eastern Europe. Today, the Defense Minister is telling us that France is so far away and that the Falcon it's not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not the ideal aircraft to use to France. How does the Defense Minister reconcile the information he has provided today with what this House approved on the 19th of March 2008? Mr. Speaker, I said, and let me repeat, this aircraft will carry a payload of 11 minus the crew. In fact, Mr. Mr. Speaker, when this aircraft is traveling, in practical experience, since it was acquired and delivered in 2010, whenever the aircraft is traveling to the eastern part of the United States or um, uh, Asia, the aircraft will not load crew more than eight plus the luggage. So it depends on where it is going and the payload with it. Secondly, in my answer, I have said that the aircraft has to do roof rolling stops. When this aircraft is going to the United States, it will do a roof rolling stop in either Senegal or another island. I've said that before. And I said, in this COVID era, when you are going to travel to multiple destinations, for example, in the President's travel, he went to France, took a train from France to Belgium and back, not with an aircraft used cars within his movement, not with an aircraft, and left 
for uh, South Africa and back to Ghana. And I said that if you wanted to travel, for example, from Europe to South Africa, you have to do a technical stop. And it is not desirable. When the president, as I again said, when the president is traveling more, more, with more than 20 people for a, a business trip, as this president has done, and brought in more than 100 mil, 75 million for this nation, he will need more than just a falcon. Otherwise, the people would have to go a day ahead of the president to prepare themselves. The president, in fact, has to go a day ahead because no president can shower in this aircraft. You cannot freshen up in this aircraft. So you cannot move from this aircraft straight into a meeting. If you are using a commercial plane, Mr. Speaker, it's the same thing. If you are going and you stop by Emirates, the Dubai government will have to give you courtesies. When you are going to the United, to United Kingdom, the United Kingdom government will have to give you courtesies that are not necessary. That is the reason why the Togo government, the Togo president, Mr. Speaker, in the last ECOWAS meeting for 30 minutes, he chartered the same aircraft that our president chartered to France. He chartered the same aircraft. So, Mr. thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, at least we now get to appreciate the question that elicited the answer. You know? And I wasn't looking for showers. I'm, okay. not, interested. Fine, I'm not interested in how many times the president passed. Right. We're, we're, you know, we're just being showered with the facts. <laughs> so that's okay. Now, wrap up for us. You, you appear quite happy with the shower bit. That's, that's, that's the side yeah. point. I love to shower. Me too. Yeah. But I'm not sure every six hours. Now, Randy, I mean, I'm a little surprised that uh, Samuel Kujeto seeming uh, anxiety about the criticisms. I mean, what do people expect maybe, you to do? Maybe it is because of who, if, who maybe it's because of who made the criticism. He, if, he failed to mention that it was Abdul Malik. Oh, Kukuba, I have this mentioned show. yesterday. Oh, I see. Yesterday on this program. Ah, yeah. okay. But I mean, listen. Oh, I, I haven't if, mentioned. I'm sure if it to anybody else, you won't respond. If you've raised an issue, mm. and as we speak, the issue has not been addressed, that gives you the free reign to go on. If the issue has been addressed, you see, yeah. and uh, counter information has been put out, and then you are still going on about your original issue, then somebody can say, "Oh, but." Counter information has been put out. You need to take that information into account. But if no counter information has been put out, and you've asked your question for two, two weeks ago or so, I mean, <laughs> you have, in fact, you have every excuse then to go on, especially when there's some delay in the answer. And I would not be worried about it at all. I mean, the use of indicative pricing. What pricing can you use yeah. in the absence of an official? document showing the price. You have to use indicative pricing. Mm -hmm. Everybody will, will do that. I will do that. So I, this whole thing will turn on the cost. As we speak, the issue about the private jet it, it's been established that it's been employed by our presidents, at least over the last eight years. The President Mahama, on a few occasions, use the private jets, even though we have the uh, uh, presidential jets. On one occasion, the, where he went to Scotland, uh, Sami, you said at that time the jet was out of uh, was service. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was Yes, but he told. went to Scotland. What did he go to do? He went to receive an academic award. Mm -hmm. That could have been postponed. So He could have postponed it, the, the, the matriculation, the congregation, sorry. Well, he was going to receive a personal award. He wasn't matriculating at the, as, at, at the universities. He wasn't matriculating as part of the students. At the universities on anyway program. But so that is not the issue. What is at issue today is that we seem to have a very luxurious jet, yeah. and so then it goes to costs. It could be that you got the luxurious jet at the cost of a less. We don't know. So what we know now is what Sami Kujetu has put out. And the whole thing turns on it. This business about 
the forker is not good for this and you have to stop here and shower and all of these things are tan <laughs> tangential. The real thing is how much did it cost us in relationship? Is you're, that, you're, you're, is you're, that really you're, the adjective you intended to use? Sorry. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> So was that really, it was tangential, really the yes. adjective you wanted to But it's all these are tangential. Okay. You, you know, the, you, main, you, you know the, the person issue is the honorable defense minister. So, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not so even his, talking his, about his, no, no, his, no, his no, language must be, Chief, must be polished. In, uh, your, in his main answer, mm -hmm. he didn't talk about some of these things. Mm -hmm. It was just yeah, but the what, issues I mean, that you raised. Yeah. That, but I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah. You are so happy. Uh, uh, you know, I really wonder. Tempo, I really wonder. You know, ex, ex tempo, ex tempo displays capacity. <laughs> now, listen, <laughs> Randy, you yourself, you know it's tangential. That's why you are amused about okay, it. Okay, I will use tangential. Uh, I would know. You, use you think it's core? Yeah. It is core to the matter. You know, it is not core to the matter. The call to the matter. The defense minister the, didn't think so. Look, look at how boisterous and, 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 and vociferous he was when he yeah. got to the shower part. So, you know, the, 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 when I when I get to when I get to the you know having known the question mm -hmm. uh -huh. that elicited that response mm -hmm. makes it worse. <laughs> so um, really, we just have to know the cost. Uh, and then we can see, oh, could we then have re gotten some cheaper cost? Mm. But now that we don't know the cost, it's all just speculation. Mm. Samuel Kujato talked about some money, 65 million cities. Is that what you mentioned for President? Yes, yeah, for uh, 2019. But you see, this... January to September. Yeah, but you see, when a cost like this on its own doesn't tell us anything, we need to show that this is like 40% over the cost in, say, 2015. Then we can see that, ah, mm -hmm. why the difference? But just quoting the cost, is it presidential travel or executive no, travel? No, just presidential. Just presidential. presidential. So just yes, quoting the government. cost for one year, we don't know. I mean, you have to compare it to two years ago, three years it's ago. Actually, and, we've done that. It's actually the highest in our history. Okay. From, yeah, yeah, from, where, where are the other from, costs? From President Rollins. Is, I don't have that here, but okay. I remember but, that but we, if we, we, did a, we did a press conference on that. Yes, yes. But if you have, if you can say that, oh, in uh, 2015 it was 10 million, mm. in 2016 it was 15 million, and now it's gone to 62, then Ghanaians can see that there's an escalation. So maybe that's what you want to do. And this business, this tangential business about we spend 25 billion to collapse banks. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. so tangential. What has no. it got to do with what? Uh, you you heard about? the defense minister saying the president brought so, us uh, 175 million. He's showing you with more euros. facts. Yeah. Following the defense ministers, the defense so minister tried to tell us that, you took a cue that from the it. president has brought us a loan, not even grant, a loan yeah. of 175 million. So you took million. a cue from it. So but Samuel Kujia, you, 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 you would the president. know. You, you would know. Mm -hmm that 25 billion cities was not spent to collapse banks. You know it. So that is the outcome. That you was, know the, that it. was the impact of the, of the, the so-called financial sector listen, cleanup. The millions of Ghanaians mm -hmm. who had to be paid their deposits. A lot of them have still not been paid. In fact, I have not been paid mine. Me too. My, my company has about 4 million cities mm -hmm. that have mm -hmm. to be paid. Mm -hmm. So um, we are even expecting that more will be paid. Mm -hmm. But the millions of Ghanaians who deposits were in danger. But you know that, that have been saved. But you know that that was not the best route. The policy route chosen. Okay. Let's, and, let's, let's not, and, and, and let's not bring case. a new discussion. But when you no. say that 25 years have to collapse banks, no. you know you are doing mischievous no, not propaganda. At all. Not at and yet all. you are happy to it. Remember, I was so, SU, SU vice president, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't play too you much mischief. You actually remember that? Absolutely. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> the Son Christ. of man. <laughs> Still the evangelist. <laughs> so, listen, I would urge. Instead, of, I would instead of researching to revelations, you are researching to aircraft. I would urge. It's all part of the work. You know. I would urge. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a new I think, calling. I think the public interest demands it. Mm -hmm. That the answers are given particularly about the cost, because that is what to let us know what the issue is. Mm. And, and huh. you know, that's what I will urge my colleagues. But as a communication guru, I'm sure he will... Uh
uh, advise his communicators, particularly the defense minister, to stop talking about showers in the skies. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm very sure. also stop talking about money is <laughs> trying to collapse banks. When you <laughs> like okay. So, your, your colleague in parliament, the yeah. MP for um, Kwadasho, yes. Dr. Kinsley Nyako. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Hey, Doc. Yeah. He says that Doc was supposed to go and do something for me at Eswe Boy. He's still not done it. <laughs> He'll do it. He'll do it. He's a I good man. I haven't seen him in a long time. That's my body. Is a, is my my we should have him on this program. Very good I think. Friend, yeah. Yes, yes. You should have him on this he program. Should, he should avail himself. Yeah. And as a Deeper Life member, he's very holy. Okay, I didn't know that part of that. Yes, him. yes, okay. yes. Yeah. All right. So... Dr. Kinsley Nyaku says the aircraft is not solely used by the president. It's used by other top officials of the state and other important personalities. Honorable Brakwa shouldn't create the erroneous impression that it's solely used by the president. Hasn't he flown a net before? I do not think the president used the private aircraft because of comfort. I think Honorable Brakwa knows that. He should cut out the politics. And then... Um, he himself doesn't believe in what he has sent. I've, I've, <laughs> not, I've not heard from him in a long while, but I've seen a text from him. Mm. The Honorable Victor Smith. Hey. Oh. Is there? Yes. <laughs> yes. He says it's that. Excellency. Ambassador Smith. Yeah. Okay. He says that the defense minister's argument are hollow. People, government appointees should be bold to advise the president properly and in the national interest. The nation has major economic challenges. So we must all help protect the public purse. We should stop patronizing our president just because we want to keep our positions in government. So he's in Scotland. Uh, President Mahmoud's program included a big business forum on oil and gas in Aberdeen and a courtesy uh, visit to the Scottish Parliament and a meeting with the Scottish First Minister in Edinburgh. He says, uh, did President Kufado not fly on a private jet to Spain to watch Tottenham play in the Champions League? What is Nana talking about? You know, Ambassador Smith is mm. mm? mm -hmm. talking about advice to uh, mm. people should advise presidents. Well. I remember the last time he tried to advise a president. <laughs> he said he was dismissed. Let, let me finish. <laughs> let, let, me finish. <laughs> let me finish my... No, no, I, so, I you, so you don't want somebody to also be dismissed with a test message? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Percy, Dr. Percy says that at the heart of current controversies of our presidential travel and bathrooms in the sky is the following sober reality. Regardless of the extra taxation and austerity imposed on Ghanaians by an abysmal first term performance, our president will allow no diminution in his creature comforts and luxuries. And long suffering Ghanaian taxpayers must live with this simple. We can also be certain that for the remaining period of the glorious second term, all public discourse will be disfigured by ministers and other appointees of our president, plus spin doctors through propagandists of government, paid and unpaid who must regularly lie and engage in obtuse and upside-down logic to cover up for our president. You may start from the annoying lies and evasion involved recycled plus new ministerial appointees before the Parliamentary Appointments Committee, through to the, ongo to the going on around the national security and invasions to arrest our city news, through the most recent cock and bull story from the Ministry of Health on Sputnik vaccines, right up to the most recent theatrics before an outside parliament by our Minister of Defense regarding presidential Travel. That's uh, Dr. Percy. You know, it's always difficult to understand. Yeah, he's a philosopher. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You, you have to delve into it. I mean, I yes, hardly yes, understand yes, it. Tell him okay. he's a, he's that a, he needs to also. He's a deep thinker. Now, now do you understand the uh, Sputnik V uh, uh, clarifications we put up by the Minister of Health? Do you understand them? <laughs> the vaccine. Yeah, do you understand um, them? Well, what the minister tried to say. Uh, if I heard him right, was that the exigency of the period um, when official channels seem to be not yielding the results that he expected. He had to go beyond the official channels. And that um, here was a situation where about 400,000 Ghanaians had been vaccinated and to, to be anywhere near the uh, required vaccination point, you needed to vaccinate about 20 million Ghanaians. Um, so you needed to bring in the second dose of the, for the 400,000 people, that is the AstraZeneca. And then you needed to bring in supplies to vaccinate the rest of the 20 million people that had to be vaccinated for Ghana really 
to be comfortable in getting back to business. Now, we are even lucky that we got this, the AstraZeneca extra from um, the inability of another African. Country. Otherwise, they are, they are Congo. otherwise are Congo. those of us who vaccinated with the AstraZeneca would have had no guarantee that we would have gotten the second shot. Mm -hmm. In fact, there are, there are more than 500,000 who still don't have their second shot. Mm -hmm. And because we did about 900,000. Okay. And what we received was a little over 300,000. Okay. So you still have close to about 600,000 okay. who are yet to receive their second so, shot. So, and, and there's a period yeah. that you need to have the second shot yeah. to be effective. Yeah. So if you're a minister or a public official confronted with this time exigency, uh, you needed to act in a way that may not be the ideal way. Um, you know, where the, issue, the, the, the Indian thing completely removed our chances of getting the AstraZeneca. So we had to look for other options. People have taken it with a pinch of salt that no, we could still... Could. I understand there are some African countries who made official... Uh, 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 yes. And got, so yes. we could have done the same and so on. It's all fine, I don't know. But this is what, they mean, this is what I understood from what he's saying. But you see, there's one thing that strikes me, uh, 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 Randy, and it's all got to do with this COVID. Mm -hmm. And it's about the shield. Mm -hmm. The shield that came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we all were using the mask. And particularly the ladies were quite upset with the mask because mm -hmm. they said it messed up their hair. Makeup. So. And then the shield came. And it seemed to be a good answer to all of us, both the women and men, you know, glass and, you know. Mm -hmm. The price of the shield mm -hmm. at the time that it started coming, I mean, it was so scarce and so, so sought after that the price just... Yeah, it was like about 30 or 40 cities. For one. For one mm -hmm. And if you bought, you got some and you bought one for your friend, he, he or she would be so grateful. Yeah. And people made a lot of investment mm -hmm. buying the shirt at, at those times at those prices. Mm -hmm. And then the price collapsed. Yeah. So listening to the minister, my mind went back to that occasion, that in this COVID case, the situation is so fluid and prices may change so rapidly that you can be caught up in the decision that may look difficult three weeks after because of the changes. Who would have thought that India, this is the country that had shown that it was a country with a warm heart, dashing vaccines to other poor countries. Who would have thought that they would be attacked by the virus that now they couldn't even get the vaccines to give to their own people. Mm -hmm. And their people were dying by the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought that even Europe, who, the European countries, who had made orders for the AstraZeneca mm -hmm. at a certain price, when the company finished the production, mm -hmm. they wouldn't give it to the European countries. Mm -hmm. They sold it to America mm -hmm. because America was offering higher. So, in this situation where everybody so now America, after all of that, starving the rest of the world, by even Europe, mm. now they were, when they finished, they were so flush mm. with, the, with the vaccine that they don't know what to do with it. Okay. But it also showed you how they also engaged in panic buying and offered so much higher prices that even Europe they, they could They paid a match. premium yes. in order to get it at a particular point in time. So yes. a typical example is Israel. Unfortunately for us, the benefit of hindsight, time, yeah. has demonstrated that that is not what we engaged in. The minister himself said that they were supposed to deliver the thing up to the end of June. Uh -huh. Now, as we speak, today is the 18th of June. Yes, yeah, so what it means is that even the orders that he thought he could rely on, it's been difficult to fulfill those orders. Okay. So, so be that as it may. So yesterday, mm -hmm. yeah, on this program, yeah. Peku Baku made some revelations that per his source at the Ministry of Health and all that, it appears that, look, we weren't dealing with the accredited agent. Two, um, 
the legal opinion is that, especially with the one with the Sheikh, we needed parliamentary approval. It was international transaction. It was not done. That it appears that the contract was even executed before we sought the advice of the AG on the matter, when we had executed the agreement. Yeah. But all of this is turning on the pricing. If all of these things have now, been... Now, the Ministry of second, Health if all of this even told us that I'm is the if all of this Sheikh who made overtures to them. Okay, but the if contract... All, Randy. Shows otherwise. I am saying that all of this tends yes. on the pricing. Yes. If all of this shake and parliament, but he had got it at ten dollars. Mm. But it, so it all tends on the pricing. Mm. And nineteen dollars. And we the speculation is that nineteen dollars is too much. Of course, you're never gonna get it at ten. Because right. even if they give it to you at 10, you have to transport it. Yeah, but that's different. Yes, so you incur extra cost. Yeah, even this one, when it comes, we incur extra cost. Look at domestic cost. Yes. But international cost is part of it. But I'm saying that the exigency of the time, maybe with hindsight, you, we're, you, we're you could say we're that... We're taking advantage of a pandemic mm -hmm. to... Let me just... That is a pandemic that is killing people by the hundreds of yes, thousands. Yes, but you see, you see, so you have it's, to be a it's bit very aggressive. shameful. Mm -hmm. to profit from a pandemic. It's very shameful. You have proof of that? Yes. Where's the proof? It's, that's what I'm telling you. Okay. Where's the proof? That we're cutting corners left, right, center, not following due process in doing all of these things. Because of? Because we, we know we want to profit from a pandemic. But you don't have proof of that. The proof is what I'm telling you. No, no. no, no, no. You're telling me the proof. The yes, proof. that's what where's I'm telling proof? you. It's right before us. Where, where's it? It's you. Speculating. I'm not. I'm not. You know you're speculating. No, I'm not, Nana. I'm not. It's a, it's a strong speculation. I'm not, and we'll find is, out very soon. Is, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, I mean. <laughs> what, what, what you are saying is frightening. You say we'll find out very soon. Oh, it appears that we're off. We're done. <laughs> we're off. Oh, we're, we're off. off. We're off. We're, off. we're done. But you cut the program off. Oh. No, the system. It's the system. Oh. Metro TV. Insightful and inspiring moments. Give us hope for tomorrow. Hear the crying of the people. Break the curse and stop the evil. Oh, there's a past in the present. How can we be so neglected? Oh, go my be real. Oh, 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 be real. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,